Hi there, Kieran Ryan, nutrition and health coach here. Today I'm going to talk to you about food intolerances, what they are, what they do in your body, how they manifest, and what you can do about it. So I'm filming in my friend's garden here where he grows all his own vegetables and stuff. Uh, it's quite a nice little place. Now food intolerances, they are something which can cause all different sorts of problems throughout the body. You eat the food and they manifest in many different ways. Classic symptoms are bloating and tiredness. You eat a food, you feel bloated and tired afterwards. But you can have delayed reactions as well. So it literally could come up the next day. Often it affects us in many different ways. Like we can get allergies, sinusitis, we can get skin problems like eczema, we can have digestive issues, constipation, diarrhea, really there's a lot, any, any type of symptom could be linked to it because it affects our immune system. Other symptoms would include tiredness uh, or, or not being able to get asleep or waking up during the night and not being able to go back to sleep. Um, also weight gain and being unable to shift the weight. So food intolerances, uh, how, they manif how we actually get them is usually there's a problem with our microbiome or the, uh, the good bugs inside our body and that could be due to antibiotics or an infection or something. Also there's a problem with the gut wall, it's become too, un too permeable and literally undigested food particles are getting across and they're triggering our immune system and when they trigger our immune system inflammation arises and when that inflammation arises the gut becomes more permeable and starts allowing more food particles so it just gets worse and worse often you'll find people have lots and lots and lots of different food intolerances and they keep getting more and more and more because more and more food particles are getting across and disturbing the immune system so in order to deal with this, we want to eliminate the food intolerances we have. Now you can get a food intolerance test, uh, you can order it through a nutritionist. They're pretty good, they do get some false negatives, nothing is 100%. Or you can do challenge elimination, where you take a food out for two weeks, you reintroduce it for two days, and then you see what happens. Do your symptoms go away, do they come back when you take the food, and then you know that's a problem food. So. Culper foods would include gluten and dairy, they'd be the biggest two offenders, but literally anything else could be a problem too. Typical ones would include the nightshade family um, of potatoes, aubergines, uh, tomatoes, or nuts, um, or actually a dozen other foods like soy, um, any sort of thing like that. When you have a food intolerance, uh, you want to eliminate any foods that you find are causing a problem to help start bringing that inflammation down. You also want to start healing the gut, and I would take glutamine and quercetin to heal the gut. And you also want to uh, repopulate the good microbes that are in your gut. So take a probiotic uh, each day, but vary the brands around so that you're getting lots of different species of probiotic. You can also use healing foods like kefir, sauerkraut, um, or kombucha, which are naturally probiotic rich foods and contain many, many different types of probiotics, far more than you can actually buy in any sort of capsule. So that's it for my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. You can comment below any questions that you have, please put them in the comments box. And if you have suffered with food allergies yourself or food intolerances yourself, please let us know about that too. Okay, I look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now.